What is up everyone? So Flex here bringing you guys day seven of the advent calendar and it's the Scorpion G. Now this will set you back about 50 bucks if you're gonna buy the bundle uh, or 38 slash 39 euros if you're gonna buy it separately with the gold in the in-game garage. And uh, actually I was like, you know what? I'm gonna actually check because 5,000 gold, um, it's the half of this. So that's actually fairly expensive. So I actually checked <laughs> like how much how much worse or better the bundles are um but if you buy 5000 gold separately it's almost 19k uh so that would be 46 56 euros and this is 50 that's just the gold so they still get the premium the binos and more missions so if you look at to get it the gold price or for the gold alone it's actually kind of worth it the premium account that said though that said though uh, the holiday ops are on the way, um, which pretty much confirmed uh, loot boxes. So um, the, the gold and premium time in these is always uh, pretty much worth it. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, the Scorpion G, uh, do recommend it. Short review, yes. Long review, incoming. Uh, so we have really good DPM, uh, no armor, really good maneuverability of 60 and 20. Um, dispersion is really good as well, 0 0.29, 2 second aiming time base, and the only thing that's really bad about it is, is the view range is only 360, which is pretty bad, 20% uh, fire chance, which is pretty bad, and you could argue that 7 degrees of gun pressure might not be enough, and the other thing you gotta be uh, mindful of is that the turret rotation on this thing is actually pretty slow as well, and uh, frontally, as you can see, it's only 5.8 gun depression, and on the sides it's 7, and on the rear it's only 2.9. So if you ever find yourself in this situation, you almost have no gun depression. But also frontally, funnily enough, it has less. So you always want to bring it over the sides. It's really easy to see, of course, because that's where the hull kind of ends and gives the gives way to it. So in-game, you're almost never going to peak like this anyway. But uh, yeah, be mindful of it. It's only 5.8. The seven i feel like a lot of people forget about that so uh yeah here's the visual of it it's really easy to see of course because it's where the the blocky the blocky bits <laughs> start right so uh, this is where your gun depression really starts kicking off and before that it is uh it is a little bit less apparently so uh, yeah keep that in mind uh otherwise that wise like i said the view range is bad gun depression you gotta be mindful of uh turret first is bad but you have a turret, which is huge. Uh, no armor, good tough speed, really good DPM for 490 alpha with uh, 246 pen, which um, compared to some of the other TDs at tier 8, is actually kind of on the low side, funnily enough. And the APCR is 311 millimeters, and then it brings it up to 1150 shelf velocity. The AP is actually, well, I wouldn't say super slow, but kind of slow for 920. And then the HE is also 920. And the HE also uh, gets 65 pen, which is actually kind of nice, especially when you're fighting other scorpions and stuff. You can two shot them because uh, well, you only have 1150 health, right? So how are we going to fit this bad boy out? Well, uh, this is how I run it. And this is where you go with optics, even though you have 370 view range. And then you have 442 view range total with food and Brother Arms, and Recon, and Situational Awareness. Um, the crew layout is kind of nice because it doesn't double up the Radio Man and the, ra uh, and the Commander. The Commander is also the loader though, so if you really want to get that safe stowage, then you have to get it on the Commander. Um, I would recommend going Repairs and Camo, BIA, Six Sense, and a few Radio Skill first though. And then there's Radio Guy, Driver, and Gunner. That's the, uh, so if you're looking to train your crew for a specific thing, you're going to look into this. Um, this is how I run it, simply because you almost have full view range, not entirely, which is kind of annoying because of the low base view range of only 360, and you have to run food in it, which is 10k less a game, which is also annoying. So if you really just need to farm credits, there's probably better premium for you to get, right? However, just out of, I just played this because it's, it's a really fun thing to drive, right? You're fast, but you have no armor. You have a turret, but it's slow. And you have a really good, you have like an absolute bazooka of a gun and up to 2850 DPM. 
And what's funny about this is that, you know, if you look at the stats only, like we compared it to, to the Kanon, and you're like, oh, well, this is all red. The Scorpion doesn't have that great stats. But the turret is such a huge deal. <laughs> the turret and the gun is such a huge deal. And the AP actually kind of helps you compared to some of the other TDs that have APCR straight away. Because APCR has, um, uh, is uh, easier to bounce with um, uh, extreme angles than AP, right? I think it's like a two degree difference, which actually in game translates into actually some shots actually hitting with this. Also, the caliber of the gun, of course, helps with 12.8. Uh, it's just nice, right? Um, so, would I recommend it? For sure. Like, this is <laughs> like when they brought this tank out first, the Scorpion G, I free marked it, had a lot of fun. And then, like a year later or something, they introduced the Scorpion without the camo. And uh, this one is the Scorpion G. So, I'm looking at the one without the camo, but hey. And I actually, they had like a thing where a week long, you could. Um, basically email them or be on a list or something and be like, okay, I want to trade this in for the regular Scorpion. Because effectively, you would lose money because you lose the camo that's on the tank, right? Now you have camo for all seasons. Now you don't, so you have to buy it. Um, but I did it anyway, and I haven't played it yet. But I just did it like, eh, if I ever feel like free marking a Scorpion again, you don't get an extra gun mark, I suppose. Uh, I'll just play a Scorpion. So, yeah, I, it'd be dumb of me to not recommend it at this point. Um... Yeah, it's a really awesome tank, and what I like about it is that it's made out of paper, right? A really good, a really good tank that has a lot of armor is super frustrating, because if everybody has that shit, it is fucking annoying. However, the times have been a little bit less kind to the Scorpion now that HE is kind of on the rise, because of, mainly because of the wheelie boys, right? The EBRs and all that, and they will take the Scorpion to Pound Town, because again, you have really low um, or slow turret traverse. And their HE will wreck you and your Scorpion <laughs> really, really hard. And of course, it's all the Japanese heavies, all the tier 9s and 10s have derp guns now. And yada yada, right? There's a lot more HE being slung, I feel like. But um, yeah, I still think it's a it's a really good uh, premium tank. Uh, is it worth the price? I mean, it depends on your disposable income, right? Um, 39, it is pretty expensive. But yeah, that's my review for it. Thanks all for tuning in, boys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And also, by the way, I'll uh, put some links to some Scorpion G games because I'm sure I have like a million of them on the YouTubes. So I'll, I'll link those right now.